Biden's backtrack, the president confusing the Department of Justice's mask mandate appeal with Title 42. Watch this. Are you considering delaying lifting Title 42? No, what I'm considering is continuing to hear from my, uh, my, uh, well, first of all, there's going to be an appeal by the Justice Department because as a matter of principle, we want to be able to be in a position where if, in fact, it is strongly concluded by the scientists that we need Title 42, that we'd be able to do that. But there has been no decision on extending Title 42. The White House then had to issue a statement to clarify. I want to clarify that in comments at the conclusion of my remarks this morning, I was referring to the CDC's mask mandate, and there is no Department of Justice action on Title 42. Of course, that was issued by President Biden, bet you not written by him. James, what do you make of this? Uh, well, I guess we don't know who wrote it, but... Uh... I guess you could say on one hand, uh, there are so many COVID rules, who can keep them all straight? Uh, on the other, this is his job, and he's had this kind of disturbing pattern lately of being confused during public remarks. Uh, that's why I've urged him to forget public remarks and just stick to written statements. But uh, on the merits, uh, Title 42, this is yet another opportunity, if the president wants to seize it, to lead on immigration. Uh, this uh, looming uh, uh, expiration or, or removal gives him some leverage to negotiate for a deal, bipartisan, strong border, border security, and more legal migration, which America needs. Mm -hmm. And Nancy, where was the Easter bunny when he needed <laughs> it to get in his face and try to stop him? Because that's how the week started. <laughs> So appalling. You know, Dagan, my grandmother used to say she was English, Irish, and Southern. And as a Southerner, we were taught uh, to look away from embarrassing situations. I, I cringe in, inside and out when I hear these in, incoherent responses. And to James' point, while we're talking about Title 42, I guess, um, I live in Arizona, and thank God for Kirsten Cinema. I am standing up on taxes and standing up on the border. So I, I, don't, I don't have words for this. Now, a lot of pressure, though, coming from Senator Sinema, also Mark Kelly, who's running for re-election, uh, even Maggie Hassan in the Northeast, but a growing list of Democrats who want, at the very least, if, if the Biden administration is going to rescind Title 42 or replacement to make sure that uh, crisis at the border doesn't become unimaginably so much worse.